Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And in this video, I am going to talk about the problem odd subsequences of hacker at May Easy 2021. And the problem is related to dynamic programming. Okay, so this is, this question is going to be really like an interesting question. And as this question is going to explain and teach us the various concepts. So how it is going to do that? Let's try to understand that. Okay, so the problem statement says we have been given an array A consisting of an element and we need to find the number of subsequences of length k with odd sum. And if this count is going to increase by this prime number, just take modulus with that and we need to report that answer. Okay, so basically this term is going to signify that we need to choose any k elements from this array whose element sum is going to be like odd and uh, we need to just print the number of ways to choose such k elements with odd sum. Okay, with modulo this prime number. Okay, so how I am going to do that? Let's try to understand that with the help of example. You can easily see the constraints is also really like helpful. N is going to be like only 10 power 3. And K should be like less than equal to N. And AI should be like less than equal to 2 only. Okay, so let's try to understand this problem with the help of examples. Okay, so let's move further. So you can easily see I have just taken some elements here you can see n is going to be like 5 there are only 5 elements and k is going to be like 2 let's say I have taken this k equal to 2 so it means that we need to choose two elements with odd sum you can easily see I can choose any two elements from this having this odd sum you can see I can choose 1 and 2 I can choose like uh, 1 and 4 or I can choose like uh, 2 and 3 I can choose 2 and 5 these are the number of four that is number of elements with odd sum I can always also choose some more elements like 3 and 4 and I can also choose like uh, 4 and 5 so you can see if n is 5 and k is 2 and we have been given this array total number of ways to choose two elements such that uh, the sum is going to be odd for all the chosen elements you can see here the sum is coming out to be odd and for every array you can easily see array of length k you can easily see sum is coming out to be odd and the total number of ways to do that would be like 6 for this case okay so this is for like k equal to 2 you can always brute force and find out find out all the subsequences and find their sum and check if that sum is coming out to be odd then you can increment your answer but it will take us a lot of time and you will have an TLE verdict over that okay so let's try to find out the best solution to have a good time complexity under the given time limit to pass all the test cases okay so you can easily see let's talk about any general k okay so i'm just talking about two things if k is going to be odd and k is going to be like even okay so let's first talk about k is going to be odd so for this i'm just taking k equal to 5 okay so let's say i have uh, okay let's say i have uh, even amount of that is e amount of even parity elements in my original array and o amount of odd parity elements in my original array okay so what i need to do is uh, just i need to find i need to choose k elements from my this actual array and uh, such that the sum of the elements would be like odd okay now i have just taken two things odd i have just pre-calculated the count number of elements which is going to be even by e a number of elements which is going to be odd by o okay now you can see if k is going to be odd that is i am now talking about k as odd okay so if k is going to be odd uh, and i am not going to choose any even elements so you can see every element is going to be like odd 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 okay so it means that from e amount of even element choose any zero even element and what is the remaining uh, remaining empty places if I have chosen empty elements that is if I have chosen zero elements you can see I have the remaining element should be like k that is the entire one that is into odd c this is basically zero and this is going to be like o okay so don't get confused odd c k that is choose any zero places for this k places to be as even and choose remaining places that is remaining one would be like k and uh, that should be odd that is odd 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 so odd c k that is choosing any k places from this odd one okay so this is going to be like if none of the elements is going to be like uh, even okay so what about if one element is going to be even if k is going to be odd if one element is going to be even you can easily see so this element is going to be even 
and the four elements are going to be odd this will give us some odd uh, this will give us some even sum and plus this even value it is it will always be even so okay so i will not choose any one element as even okay so let's try to choose some two elements which is going to be like even okay so this element is going to be reach so even and even so three elements is going to be odd so this sum will give us some odd value odd plus even value will always be like odd value okay so this is going to give us some hint and what is the hint we need to just step over to some uh, larger value and increment my uh, my iterations every time by 2 okay so i am just trying to just make this value okay so i i am just trying to choose any two even elements so there are e even elements choose any two even elements and uh, multiplied by total number of pairs since i am trying to count total number of odd elements is like o choose any remaining places will be like two places already filled with even elements and remaining places will be like k minus 2 okay so similarly it gives us the idea that i should always jump by 2 0 so it should be like you choose any four elements and choose some remaining places choose k minus 4 and it will go on until and unless this position is going to be like less than equal to this k okay so i have some formula like what is the formula start iterating from i equal to 0 to i equal to this so k both inclusive and increment i every time by 2 and your answer should be incremented by that is answer plus equals to number of ways to choose even elements that is let's say e c i into number of ways to choose odd elements odd c k minus i and this is the value for every i starting from 0 to this k my answer should be incremented by this value and this is going to hold when k is going to be like odd okay so this is for k equal to odd and what will happen when k is going to be like even so if k is going to be even let's say i will have k equal to 4 so it means that i will have this value okay so all if all the elements if i will choose none of the elements are even that is all the elements are going to be odd that is you can see odd 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 you can easily see i will have the sum coming out to be always even okay so i cannot choose uh, that is i cannot choose all the elements as odd i should choose at least one element to be as even so in in case when k is going to be even just start iterating i from one and all the steps is going to be same increment i every time by two and it goes up to i less than equal to k and the entire this line would remain as same okay so one thing overall i just want to say this formula remains same that is answer plus equal to eci into odd c k minus i is going to denote the number of elements in my actual array whose parity is even and o is going to denote number of elements in my actual array whose parity is going to be odd and i is going to vary differently with the help of k and how it is going to be do, uh, done that you can easily see if k is going to be like even start iterating i with 1 and if k is going to be like odd start iterating from i equal to 0 if you are not going to understand this still now you can easily understand this with the help of taking this example that i have taken over here that is if k equal to 5 just try to make this odd sum can i choose zero elements if k is going to be 5 zero elements at even yes i can choose because all the elements is going to be odd you can easily see if k is odd and all the elements is going to be odd i can get this sum as odd okay so if i have taken zero elements my next element will be like choose any two even elements and again sum is going to be like odd okay so this is the step that is every time i am just going to increment my i by 2 and uh, starting position on this i varies according to the value of k okay so let's try to understand this thing in more detail with the help of coding part so you can easily see I have accepted code over this may easy or subsequent problem. Okay, so the thing that is I am just trying to explain that this problem is actually really much interesting. That is uh, you can easily see the thing that I have done over here is uh, like okay. So I have taken the values of uh, my actual array in my array vector v. Okay, and some pre-calculation I have done over here. I am just also trying to explain now. Okay, 
So I have odd as 0 and even as 0. So I have just found this odd count and even count number of elements whose parity is odd and even respectively. And if k is going to be odd, start iterating i from 0 and it goes up to k and i plus equal to 2 every time. Okay, now my answer should be incremented by answer plus equal to NCR number of ways to choose i even elements from all the even elements into number of ways to choose k minus i odd elements from all the odd elements and make the product make product this value and, and total number of current answers would be like NCR of even i into NCR of odd into odd k minus i and this value should be added to my answer and Similarly, you can easily see i is going to also vary from 1 to k and i plus equal to 2. Note that the starting value is 1 in case of k is going to be like even. Okay. Now the main thing is like how you should calculate NCR efficiently. Okay. Now if you are not aware of this binary exponentiation function and this inverse function and how to calculate NCR, I will recommend to watch a tutorial that I have mentioned in the description section of the video the very best tutorial that you would ever find on the binary exponentiation. So I will recommend to watch that video and find the best possible way to implement this uh, power of a comma b in the coding part. Okay, So you can easily see this would take a log of n time complexity because every time I am just reducing b by 2. Okay, So if you are unaware about this binary exponentiation logic, I will recommend to watch that video also. Okay. So you can easily see for calculating this NCR value efficiently, I have just uh, called this NCR function. So it is just writing down the base cases if r is 0 or r equal to n, return 1. If n is going to be like less than r, return 0. Otherwise find the factorial of n and denominator will contain find the factorial of r into factorial of n minus r. This value can exceed the, the prime number 10 power 9 plus r. So I have taken the modulus and return the value numerator into inverse of denominator. Okay, you can easily see I have taken the pre-calculated factorial values already and uh, up to the value greater capital N and what is this capital N? It is going to be like 1005 because in this case you can easily see I have N is going to vary up to 10 power 3. So for simplicity I have just taken capital N as 1005. Okay. Also you can easily see I have taken this inverse function which is going to denote the find out the inverse of a number uh, if uh, n is going to be like uh, okay so this is going to basically calculate using the help of format little theorem binary power of n comma mod minus 2 will return the inverse of a particular number so if you are unaware of this binary exponential then i will again ask to watch that video again okay watch that video also okay so also this binary exponential calculates the power of a number a power b in log of n time complexity okay so this is going to just give you a AC code, okay, passing all the test cases. So if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section of the video. And I will ask the viewers to like this video, share this video and do subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video.